Hello and welcome to a brand new series. This is Tour de France 2020. I'm Joe, if you're new around here. Make sure you click that subscribe button for daily Tour de France videos throughout the real life of Tour de France. I did a first look at this earlier in the year and I said if we get 100 likes I'll do a full series on it and that is exactly what we're doing. So we're going to do the full Tour de France with the Bahrain McLaren team. Just so that expectations are maybe a little bit lower, but we have got some excellent riders, of course, and uh, I am going to alter it. I know the real-life team has not picked Mark Cavendish, but I cannot possibly refuse uh, having Cavendish in the team, so we'll get him in there. Obviously, one of the best sprinters of all time, um, and, and uh, has 40 stage wins, I think. Um, so it would be nice to, to try and get him a few more stage wins. Definitely an excellent sprinter on this game, so that's what I'm good. Uh, the rest of the team, I'm pretty happy to leave it like that. Uh, Mikel Lander is going to be our team leader, of course. We've got uh, Puels as well, who seems pretty good. Um, Toons, <laughs> no idea. Um, t turns, I, I have no idea how to pronounce most of these names. And I don't claim to be a, a, any sort of cycling expert. All my knowledge comes from watching TIJ Gaming series. So if you want to check out an excellent pro team career, go and check out his series. I'll leave uh, his link down below in the description. But uh, there you go. Um, that's going to be the team for the Tour de France. So with Barry McLaren, let's get into it. Hi guys, welcome to the briefing for this first stage. The main thing to grasp today is that the route is flat and it harbors no particular difficulties. A sprint finish is more than likely. We've got what it takes to be in amongst it in the final sprint and finish in the top five. Have a good stage, guys. Go, go. Well, team director sounds pretty uh, pretty hyped up for this. Uh, top five place with Mark Cavendish is in within our capabilities, apparently. Uh, should end up in a bunch of sprints. Um, no particular risks and flat stages are, except surprise, stages where without interest for the general classification. So of course, uh, you know, there's different types of, of stages. Um, this is going to run for, for 21 days. Um, got the time trial later on and I'm not looking forward to that. But some mountain stages uh, in the middle and those are going to be really, really tough on the legs of the team. But flat stages like this shouldn't be too much problem. Um, we'll get one of our riders in the breakaway and hopefully keep everybody else protected in the peloton. So here we go. Let's uh, play the stage. And I have done a, a couple of practice runs at this, just to make sure I don't make a complete fool of myself, but we'll probably mess it up, uh, <laughs> to be completely honest. But um, I'm just going to play it the way that, that I enjoy it, and we'll see what happens. And, if we win the yellow jersey at the end of it, it'll be a complete miracle, but uh, it'll be fun. It'll be really, really fun. So, yeah, looking forward to it. So we get to pick which rider we want. Um, so he, it, the, his objective is to finish in the first five, finish in the first ten with Colbrelli as well. Okay, so who am I going to go in the breakaway with? Uh... Let's go with Mahoric, I think. Yeah, he's decent on the hills and decent downhill as well. So let's go with with him in the the breakaway. Hello, Keep ladies and gentlemen. And welcome to this the Grand Depart in the Nice hinterland. We have an unusual route for this first stage because in a rare event for the Tour de France, the riders will have to complete three big circuits. However, that probably won't upset the scenario of the stage, which should end in a bunch sprint on the Promenade des Anglais. Right, we need to get ourselves reasonably well placed so that we can head out on the breakaway. Guys, the road climbs as soon as you leave Nice. The early breakaway should quickly get going. Come on. Right, let's get the... Yeah, I like this uh, camera angle. 
we go. We're away. Oh, that car took a <laughs> took a risky turn there. Look at him. He's flying up ahead. All right, so need to hope somebody follows. Watch out! You're not going to be able to attack for much longer. I'm not going to be able to uh, keep this up on our own. So there the brakes stays and done. Coming. They're stepping on the pedal of the front of the peloton. Langevel. The Côte de Rimier is a third category ascent for the best climber classification. It will earn two points and one point for the first two riders to the top. We didn't catch up. Don't just want a one-man breakaway in here. I'll tell you what I am going to do, though. Um, I'm going to turn down the the sound of the, the crowd and stuff. Um, yeah, the, the commentary's fine, but everything else will just keep like that. Yeah, that's much better now. So he's 44 seconds behind. Guys, at the top he's of the climb, energy. don't ease up straight away. After a short ledge, it will continue upwards for 7 kilometres. We'll try and keep it so that our blue en energy's not going down. Two points World champion of both junior and under uh, 23 level, Mateusz Moric is reputed for his unequalled qualities as a descender. There you go. Mahoric is apparently his name, not Mahoric. But, um, I mean, currently, well, here we go. There's Greipel, he's coming. So there we go. Finally, we've got somebody that we can follow. So let's just stick to the wheels of him up the rest of this uh, climb. I You're think two kilometers from the top. I think they're definitely going to catch us. So 29 seconds back, which is literally there. That's a shame, because I've got a decent gap, but nobody followed us. You seem to be the best puncher in the group. You should be able to move to the front. Go. Okay, so we're the best puncher in the group, so that means we're favourite for, for this. And let's uh, let's start getting ourselves well placed. It looks like you've got an exit slip from the peloton. It's riding quietly. So, where's the finish line? Still a little way. There it is, up there. But the the line for this climb, I should say. So. Oh, he's going for it. There we go, nicely through. You were first over the top of the climb. That's good. So I've got the polka dog jersey at the moment. That's uh, that's fun. But nothing is going to happen until we take that climb again. So we'll see you guys when we get there. Right then, on to the second climb. Uh, I'll tell you what, we've, uh, we've built up a three minute gap to the peloton. There's only the three of us, which is, is kind of the problem here. Probably need a couple more in the relay just to help out, but uh, you know, plenty of energy in the tank, of course, in these early stages. We don't want to go for it too much, but uh, certainly you know, we've got a good chance of getting another couple of points here. Uh, in a couple of kilometres time, so yeah, we'll just uh, we'll have a little look at uh, the rest of the guys as well. Nobody else seems to have uh, died yet, which is good. So I just want to ensure a, a minimum tempo at the moment with with those guys. We might as well fast forward just a little bit as we head up. So two kilometres. You are two kilometres from the top. Just keep an eye, we don't want to be caught napping as TIJ would say. <laughs> so here we go. It should be a, another fairly straightforward two points. So here we come. Around. Obviously the line's in the same place, so probably wanna go for it. 
And around about the same time, Langeveld has gone for it. We should have enough to, to cover him off. So there you we go, nice. The top of the climb. That's, good. That's exactly what we want. So, not the, the polka dot jersey after this, I don't think. Unless it was the same guy that got one point. Um, both times, but you must not entirely sure. You try to shelter from the wind, so as not to consume energy. This is what allows a rider to edge clear at the end of the race. So we need to keep as much energy as possible, but uh, nothing particularly is going to happen until that uh, sprint, where, of course, we'll be looking to get Cavendish as many points as possible. Um, so I'll see you guys when we come down the mountain towards our first intermediate sprint. So, prepare for the intermediate sprint. So, just about four kilometers to go. In the group. Take his wheel if you want to score some points. Until uh, the sprint. Greipel is apparently the best sprint there. Three kilometers from the intermediate sprint. So 20 points available, of course. It's the intermediate sprint is three, approaching. So. Remember that only the first 15 score any points for the green jersey classification. And the first rider earns 20 points. There's the one kilometre mark. They're riding hard behind. This isn't the moment to relax. Right. Here we go then with Mahoric. I'm going to try and win it. May well struggle, but we've done it. We've won that immediate intermediate sprint. You've won. Now then, we need to to switch to Cavendish and get him as well placed as possible. He's sort of been well boxed in here. We're now on the last lap, a lap that's ten kilometres longer this and also good. slightly more difficult because it takes in an extra climb. However, it's an ascent ah, that doesn't well, count towards the mountain's classification. Up. Here he goes. Might still get some minor points. Watch out. There You're not we go. going to be able to attack for much longer. Got tenth, I think. And uh, so did a few of our other guys. There you go, look at that. Tenth to fourteenth we got, which is good. Okay. Awesome, so we've got one final climb of the day, and that's going to be with, uh, well hang on, we'll, we'll, we'll take some red red gel with Cavendish, just to try and recoup a little bit. We'll go back to um, ensure a minimum tempo, or we'll stick to the wheels in front, is there that option? No, there isn't, okay, so we'll head back to... Mah Mahora Rich now. <clears throat> we'll take some feet. Last and... climb of the Cote de Rimier for the breakaway. That should be all good. Take a little bit of feed. It's a slightly harder climb this one. Because uh, you sort of go up again after it. Got a good two, two and a bit minute uh, gap. Don't know who's going to win this at the moment. The Caruso in there. I'm not entirely sure what they're doing. Um, I guess, I guess they're only 13 seconds ahead, so let's not panic just yet. I don't want them to get too tired. This man. Yeah, they're they're pushing hard. There's no need for them to do that. Let's just wait for the following group. There's no need for them to to come up with my opinion. From the top. So there you go. They're back in the peloton now. Ensure a minimum tempo. Right. So we're half a kilometre away now. Oh, 
Oh. He might not get there. It's going to be close. Well, one point. The mountain sprint. Here's the positions over the last climb. Need to catch up to those two, otherwise we're going to be caught with our pants down. We desperately need to be behind those. We'll wait for the next group. And there we go. Awesome. Right then, it's all looking pretty, pretty solid right now. Got a two-minute gap on the peloton. Got a couple of climbs to, to get up this hill, and then uh, it's all the way down to the finish. Where of course we want Cavendish to, to do pretty well. He finished tenth in the the last sprint, so definitely needs a, a few more points this time. The peloton looks set to fight it out for victory. Okay, so here we are, 10 kilometers from the end. We're just with uh, Mark Cavendish now. And uh, trying to get him well placed. Looks like the, the, the Peloton is going to catch the breakaway. From the end, we did just uh, let uh, Mahorich um, come back. Uh, the breakaway is holding off the Peloton, but it's going to be difficult. Trying to stick with these guys at the front, keep ourselves well placed. And there come the breakaway. Oh, that's one of the breakaway, Langeveld. Looks like Greipel might well have enough. Six kilometres to go. Gonna take a bit of blue feed. He's trying to set off on a counter attack. Five kilometres for the breakaway. It'll be tight for the stage victory. We need to, to put in a bit of pace here. Bunched peloton. Get ourselves well placed. So Cabrelli needs to uh, attack as well. Less than three kilometers for the peloton. Uh, that's got to be Bay, surely. Two and a half kilometres to go. We'll sort of try and keep pace. And we're going to finish our feed. They've gone for it. We're going to go for it. And the sprinters are off. Go! One kilometre! Give it all you've got! This is all we've got. Is Cavendish going to win it? Yes, he is. Excellent. Well, there you go. We didn't tell anybody else to attack. Uh, these guys are just coming over the line, so I think that'll be fine. But uh, a bunch finish. So Cavendish is uh, going to end up with a yellow jersey, which is amazing. What a start. There we go. Now we should just put in enough effort. go through it and there you go everybody coming over the line there's one guy all the way at the back there poor guy but there you go stage win are we gonna get the podium he succeeded in avoiding oh. all the pitfalls to win today here is the winner of the inaugural stage of this tour I love, I love how all the character models are the same. Congratulations to him for this high flying burp. He is in sparkling form, and you can clap him loudly. Here is the yellow jersey of this Tour de France. So Cavendish gets the yellow jersey. And he gets the, the points jersey as well, the green jersey. Of course. That's going to be uh, Mahorich. And the young rider isn't one of ours, so good well start, done, you'd have lads. to say. Congratulations to you.
I hoped that we'd play a leading role, but from that to win this stage, you have put in a superb performance. Well done for this win. We hit the ground running, and tomorrow we'll have the honor of defending the yellow jersey. So there you go. Obviously, uh, nobody else particularly placed well, but everybody within the, the second, because it was a, a bunched finish. Um, so it, it doesn't really matter, to be honest with you. We've we've played it perfectly. Mahoric um, has the best climber uh, classification. You've got five... Three for Greipel and one for Langeveld. Um, and then uh, Cavendish got the points classification. 56 points for him at the moment. Uh, Mahoric has got 20 as well because, of course, he won the uh, opening sprint. Uh, Puels, Caruso, uh, Toons and Bill Bilbao uh, all get uh, some points there. Uh, Young Rider... I don't think any of our guys are, are up there. Nope. Um, team classification. Well, everybody's the same. And then the combativity. Uh, Mahoric finishes third. So there you go. Quite happy with that. Definitely settle for that. And there you go. Cavendish is leading the Tour de France at the moment. Ten seconds ahead of pretty much everybody else. And uh, we'll settle for that for the first episode. If you have enjoyed this video, then hit the thumbs up button down below. It would be absolutely amazing if we could hit 50 likes for the start of the series. Really would appreciate it. Uh, subscribe to the channel for daily Tour de France videos over the, the real life Tour de France. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.